It's the middle of February and the pips planted in these pots at the beginning of January and then placed in cold frames outside are beginning to germinate. The first signs of emergence are the two cotyledonary leaves. These soon expand and the seedling starts to photosynthesize. The pots require light watering once a week but other than that no action is required. The cold frames receive a few hours of sun during the day. Germination percentage this year looks to be high. During January, February and early March I keep the lids of the cold frames shut in order to keep the temperatures up. Unless the weather is particularly warm, in which case I'll open the lids by a few centimetres during the daytime. It's the middle of March, five or six weeks since the pips were sown into these pots and placed in cold frames outside. Germination rates have been high. Many of the seedlings have gone beyond the cotyledonary leaf stage and have produced their first true leaves. At around this stage, I transplant the seedlings into individual one litre pots and they're grown on in the same cold frames until final transplanting into five litre pots where they'll remain for two or three years at least. I'm going to pot up the seedlings from one of the crosses here, a cross between Ellison's Orange and Adam's Permain. Potting these seedlings into one litre pots containing a 50-50 mixture of multi-purpose compost and John Innes number two. First thing to do is to, as in any potting up, is to get the seedlings out of the current pot. This is a little bit of a precarious exercise and what I tend to do is to gently loose, loosen the soil from the pot and then let it gently slide out, trying not to bend any of the seedlings too severely. Then I take a spoon and make a, a hole about halfway down the length of the pot I'm going to transfer the seedling in. Gently pick out the relevant seedling. As you can see, there's been strong rooting growth already. So I gently tamp the roots as far down as I can into the hole and I tap the side of the pot to get the soil into the rooting hole. Press the seedling down, the soil around the seedling down. These pots have been filled fairly loosely with soil so there's a bit of give when it comes to pressing them down. And then I just put a little bit of spare compost from the pot take the seedlings out around the surface and there we are that's it done. Finally I double label each pot. I use these little plastic plant labels and I've got the year of the cross, the number of the cross and the number of the seedling. So in this case the crosses were made in 2014, the cross number is 55 and this is seedling number one. On the rear of the label I actually write the, the parental varieties, in this case Ellison's Orange is a female parent and Adam's Permain the male parent. I insert these either side of the pot and this is now ready to go out in the cold frame. The potted up seedlings go into cold frames sited in a fairly sunny position. They don't need much watering initially but once the weather warms up They'll need to be watered every two or three days.